everybody, it's Zach with ThrasherHandles.com. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through how to repair the interior door handles on your Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, using our kit that's available on ThrasherHandles.com. I'd like to remind everybody that our kit is patent pending, and if Thrasher isn't in the name, it is a copy of our original product. Alright, as you can see here, this is actually uh, the problem that we're trying to repair. This one happens to be operable, but uh, a lot of them will break to the point where you cannot even open the door without rolling the window down. Um, so this is basically what yours is going to look like before you repair it. Alright, when you guys receive your kit in the mail, it's going to come with pretty much everything you need. You're going to have all four handles, the hardware, and instructions on how to repair the vehicle. In addition to the kit, you're going to need a drill with a fairly large bit, something to pry the panel from the door. I'm using a dog bone. You can actually get away with using a flathead and a rag if you're careful. You may need a hammer, a Phillips head screwdriver, a socket for the push washers and then I, like I said I'm using something a little different to pry the panel but you can get away with a flathead if you're careful. Step one you're gonna need your Phillips head screwdriver you're gonna remove all the screws in the door panel before you can go on to the next step. You have one here in the handle, one towards the front of the panel and then you have one that's actually in the center of the housing. Step two, you're going to actually pry the door panel from the door. Uh, you're going to use either something like this, it won't hurt the paint, or your flathead screwdriver and a rag, being very careful. What I'm going to do, there's little plastic clips around the door panel. You're going to want to pry this out and then pop each clip. The clips are fairly inexpensive. You can get them at the dealer if you break any. It's not a big deal. Uh, they do break depending on how old the vehicle is. As you can see, as I'm prying the door panel off, chunks of the old housing are actually falling out of the door panel. You're going to want to remove all that so you don't have any rattle later on. Next, we're going to actually pull the panel away from the door, and you're going to lift straight up. And then careful not to remove the door panel all the way from the door, because you do have some cables still attached. Okay, now that you've pulled up on the panel, and pull the door panel slightly away from the door. You're going to want to be very careful and remove each of the electronic clips. Starting with the top one and these secondary clips. Once you've removed the electronic clips, your next step is removing this rod that is attached to the interior door handle. First you need to pop this clip from the rod. So, turn it out, and the rod will actually lift straight out. Once that step is complete, you can remove the entire door panel. Okay, once you have the door panel laid out on a table, uh, make sure it's, you know, you don't want to do this on concrete or anywhere where the door panel is going to get scratched up. Uh, I'd recommend maybe laying a towel down or something to that effect. Uh, first, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this plastic piece that's around the cable. You can see you can see how this is just literally falling apart. We're going to get these cables out of the way. Okay, now the next step we're going to actually drill out each plastic rivet. And that's what's holding the old door handle in place. So using our drill bit. Now when you take this step you're going to be really careful. You don't want to press down too hard. You, the goal is not to drill through the entire panel, but to remove only the plastic rivet. Once you've drilled out these rivets, you're going to want to remove any of the old interior door handle housing that you have. You may need a razor blade or a box cutter to remove any of the excess plastic rivet. Next step, you're going to find the appropriate door handle for the panel. Uh, on the back of each door handle, you're labeled in large letters. Uh, as you can see here, maybe it's hard to see on the video, but on your handle, you'll have two letters. This one says FL, that stands for front left. The passenger side will be FR, that's for front right. And then you have the rear left and the rear right with RL and RR. 
I would recommend using uh, an adhesive. Just lightly spread some adhesive around the edge here where it's going to make contact with the panel. It's not necessary, but it can help. Next up, we're going to actually line the door handle housing with the panel. Okay, next you're going to need your push washers and your socket. Pressing firmly on the handle housing, you're going to take your push washer and place it over the post. You're going to do the same thing on the left. Now using your socket, you're going to press this push washer all the way down. You don't want to press so hard that you overly stress the panel, but hard enough to where it's going to hold that door handle housing nice and firm against the uh, door panel. The next step, you're going to use one of your screws and your Phillips head screwdriver. What we're going to do here is you're going to locate this tab that's on the bottom of the housing. Now, work that screw at an angle, just like that. Once that's snug, you'll see that this is nice and secure. You can actually lift the whole door panel. Some of the kits will come with extra screws and a washer. Those can be used here in the old rivet points. They're not really necessary, but it makes some people feel better and uh, it'll help secure it to the door panel. Uh, we're going to reinstall the door panel. It's basically a reverse of the removal. You're going to insert this rod. Make sure this goes straight down. I'm doing this without looking here. And you're going to snap the retainer. Like so. Once that's complete, you're going to reconnect the wires. Okay, next, you're going to come over the top and carefully line up the lock button and make sure the door panel seats along the window. Just like that. Once you have this aligned and the lock button's lined up, you're going to make sure each of these clips is lined and you're just going to press them in. Do that all the way around the entire panel. Now that all your clips are pressed in, everything's seated flush, you're going to actually reinstall each screw. Don't forget the handle, the front, and the housing. Each handle for the front housing comes with a long screw for this hole. Once we install those screws, you'll be ready to go. You're going to repeat this process for all four doors and your entire vehicle will be safe to use.